Oh, it's steaming up out here again. Right, let's go back inside for this one. Hello there, Bradley from BRAD TV here. It's very steamy outside in the Caribbean. So I've succumbed a little bit to dirty bulking and even now had alcohol this first month. Not, not a lot to excess, but just I had a beer the other day and now I've got some friends here, gonna have some drinks now on the beach. I'll do a proper introduction to this video tomorrow morning. And I just wanna sort of show you what it's like working out and doing my diet and exercising after a night of having a drink. Not a lot to drink, but even say tonight it's throwing me off because I'm not having a big hefty meal and I won't be waking up now having a big protein bar, waiting an hour, 40 minutes, grenade tablets, I'll probably end up just waking up, having the grenade tablets, and then going to the gym. So already I'm off my big meal tonight, maybe I'll have some porridge and tuna tonight, but it's already just throwing me off a bit. But we'll see how it goes, and I'll keep you informed. Because we're on the beach, it's sun's out, gun's out. So I'm gonna have to do a quick few press ups, make sure I look good in my vest, just in case Jennifer Aniston is out on the beach, you see, ha ha. Now I can relax, I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> Do I feel grubby or what? Excuse my eyes, I've literally just rolled out of bed and it's four in the morning. So it wasn't too bad last night, I had a couple of drinks and I still managed to get seven hours sleep. I didn't end up having a big meal last night. Last night before bed, I had a, one of my weight gain bars and I've managed now to wake up at four in the morning. I'm gonna have some protein porridge rather than one of those bars, just because the protein probably is a bit lighter. And then I'm going to have my grenade tablets in about 45 minutes and then go to the gym after that. So not completely disastrous, but they're not as efficient as if I hadn't have had anything to drink and just gone all straight to bed pretty much. So this month I have succumbed to dirty bulking, basically eating bad calories, thinking it's excess food, so okay. Now it hasn't been every day, and I have been eating my healthy meals. Some days, which is even worse, I've been having my healthy meals, and then bad stuff as well. And then even before the drink I had last night, the other day I had a couple of beers back home because I was celebrating. In my brain it's something like, oh, if I eat and live like a Viking, I'll become a Viking. So ale is fine. Mashed potatoes and cheese and steak and ale pie is all fine, because I've become big and I eat all this stuff. And yeah, you'll get big, but you also get chubbier quicker than eating just lots more good food, whole grains and lean meats and things like that. So you've got to eat lots more of good food bulking up. I haven't been binging too badly, but I haven't been doing it as clean as I know I could. And then the alcohol, it's not so much the calories thing, it's that it throws you off your game a little bit. So last night I didn't have a big meal that I wanted to. I might not be as efficient in the gym. I know that the alcohol confuses you, the cells in your body. So I went to the gym before yesterday and I know that my muscles wouldn't be building as efficiently because I've got alcohol in me and it would confuse the body a bit and it's more pressure on my liver that's filtering out maybe stuff from supplements you know, I'm eating lots of protein filtering out that and it's filtering out alcohol as well so it's more pressure on your liver. When I was getting lean I knew it was a calorie thing, I knew it really affected me. For this, especially in the initial stages, I know that it's not going to hinder me too much so I wasn't that bothered but I'm going to nip this dirty bulking in the bud. Now I'm not going to say I'm not drinking now for six months, I'm not going to say that, and I'm not saying I'm going to cut out all bad food, and then especially when I go away I have to eat what I can get sometimes. What I am saying is I'm going to give myself one day a month, I'm going to have whatever I want, whether that's food, I can eat as much as I want or not eat anything if I'm fed up of eating, or I'm allowed alcohol, or I'm allowed fizzy sugary drinks, or if I want an energy drink, the devil. <gasps> one day a month, I have whatever I want. And I've got to try and make sure as well, if I do have a drink on that one day, I don't get drunk and ruin myself for the next day, so I'm not training or not eating for then two days on the trot. So I don't know if you saw my last video, I was talking about the porridge just having 65% oats and Quaker oats having more. I think they got less. I looked back home, I don't know if it was 50 something percent, but this 65% oats is actually more than the Quaker oats pots. I've woken up a bit now, glad I got the camera out. I felt really quite grubby when I woke up. This will give me some good energy in the gym, rather than just waking up on an empty stomach or just having the grenade tablets. Got a photo of me as my background. <laughs> okay, I'll let you go. I'll see you in the gym.
And again, right at the end of the workout, let's see if I can't put some heavy weight on here and do a few sets of four, really pump me up before I have my shake and my big breakfast. Shake, breakfast, walk on the beach. Oh no, I'm from Star Wars, I'm having a ray vision. Whee! Everlasting be rad. Shower, massive breakfast, let's do this. First course, as always, fruit. Banana, pineapple melon, and some weird yogurt with a bit of granola in there, and some fruit. You gotta see the view. You can sit outside, but it's just so windy you wouldn't be able to hear me talk. I've come inside. I'll be out there later, don't worry. Second course, I've got some cold meats and a bit of salad. And I've got a big plate of side salad that will last me through a hot main as well. So my big hot course, I've got an omelette with onion and green peppers. I've got some salt fish with onion in it, which is, I love it when there's that at the breakfast. I've got some American bacon, got to have some of that. Potatoes and a bit of scrambled egg. And the potatoes, I think, got onion and vegetables on it, and I've got side salad as well. Ooh, should I treat myself to some ketchup? This is tough today. I know it was the alcohol, I didn't have much, but my body is just telling me don't eat any more food. But I got to. I'm beginning to contemplate the meaning of life. Definitely no pudding. I'm done. No. Now that was worse than my workout. Like the workout's fun. That just wasn't even fun. I finished everything apart from the salted fish. That so wasn't too bad. I think what it was as well. I'd been there so long eating that um, the fish had gone cold. So the last thing I wanted was almost spicy chili fish that had gone cold with onions. It, just, it didn't feel right. So I ate everything else. That's all right. Now I'm gonna go walk on the beach. I'll show you one of my favourite places. Everywhere I go in the world, I sort of have my own little areas where. I sort of have a routine or go for a walk or I'll listen to a certain song. So I'm going to show you a bit of the beach here that I really like. Woo! So welcome to my favourite little beach here. I tend to walk up here, sometimes with music on, sometimes not. I meditate, think, barefoot, sand in between my toes. I just stop for five minutes and look and appreciate and just be. I feel so lucky to be at a place in my life where I can stop and pause and feel safe and just take five to breathe. Just breathe. Love the new Star Wars movie, sue me. And one of the things I would listen to when I walk along here is the Star Wars soundtrack. And I always time my walk so I get back when it gets very climactic towards this part of the beach. And I imagine I'm here using the force to bring down a Star Destroyer that's coming towards the beach. Much as I did love the new Star Wars movie, like Kevin Smith said in his review, I'm of the same sort of opinion didn't get to see Skywalker unleashed. There was no reason why we shouldn't have got the real Jedi Master, Luke Skywalker, fighting all the bad guys. That is what we've been waiting years to see. We did and it is different, I liked it. It's a brilliant movie, so I was so happy and surprised in the cinema, everything that was going on. Got my lightsaber. <laughs> 
it's the little things in life and this silly bit of plastic shaped and coloured like that could bring someone so much joy how funny is that? I've digested the breakfast that shut me down. I do think it was the cold fish at the end there. I wouldn't be able to finish everything, but just that cold fish just didn't sit right. Okay, I'm actually gonna turn the camera off now, take all this stuff back to my little room, and actually walk up here and meditate properly. I'll sleep for a few hours in the afternoon, wake up, have my next meal. It'll be a good, I think, six hours just to fully digest my breakfast, maybe five or six hours till I eat just to make sure I'm, I am hungry and I want it and I need it and I don't want to bloat myself up today too much. There's a little tiny crab, little tiny life. The sun's gone away, I'll see you in a minute. And now that gurgling noise is over, it means my black coffees are done. So I've got my last little meal here. Got two small tins of tuna, one with some soy and ginger on, one with some chipotle, I think there's seeds in that one as well. And then two pots of golden syrup protein porridge and two black coffees. Again, I'm sort of vlogging and chatting, but I wanted to share with you my dirty Balkan booze stuff. So yeah, I'm not binging like mad, but I haven't been eating as clean as I know I can or I should be doing, especially if I'm bulking out for six months. But I'm glad I've succumbed to the temptation and the laziness of dirty bulking and binging a bit in the first two weeks. And I can realize it and see it and stop it. And I think setting myself the, well, the target, but the reward of one day a month, I can have as much as I want or as little as I want and do whatever I want and train or not train on this one day of the month. And these little travel logs are all nice and nice because I've got time to chill out and talk to the camera and do funny little things. But what you're not seeing is back home in England, the day-to-day -day grind and hustle and actual battle and struggle. Now I like waking up as me and I've learned, I've embraced the work and the hustle. But I'm so sort of really overwhelmed with things I have to do that I don't have, I say, the time or the will to video vlog it, my horrid rented place with my living landlord from hell who hates me for no reason. If I open the windows or I don't open the windows or anything I'm doing, everything's wrong. This person shouldn't be renting out their house, but it's, it's cheap, so that's why I'm staying there. Having to cook in the morning, pack up all my meals, walk in the cold and the wet and the rain for half an hour to get to the gym, and I've got rain hitting my face sidewards, like in Forest Gump, so hard it hurts. The heating was broke for two weeks over winter, didn't have hot water for two weeks. Then back from the gym, proofreading or writing, so my passion work, and then wash up all my stuff, cook and eat again in the afternoon if I have to, cook and eat again in the evening, washing up, because the meals I prep in the morning is only for my post-gym meal. The other things I make, make fresh on them at the moment. Like, you can be at peace and still be mad as hell about your situation and want to change it. That's the thing, it's like, that's why I say happiness is so confused. I've, the videos I've done on that before in the past. The only true happiness is waking up at peace with yourself. And that doesn't mean you can't want more and to better your life for yourself and your family and your friends. I think that's human nature and if it isn't human nature, it should be something we all strive for, improving yourself. What else? is there, devolve and just melt and drift away and become lazy and not do anything. You've got to fight and grind for anything, let alone everything, just for anything in this life. The funniest thing, my landlord, I cleaned the bathroom, um, like properly bleached it, everything, wiped it all down. And I'm not kidding, I went in there about 20 minutes later and there was a note stuck in the middle of the thing so you could see it as soon as you go in. And it said, when we clean the bathroom, guys, don't leave smears because smears are germs and we don't want to share germs now, do we? And I remember it word for word. Unbelievable, unbelievable. I got a new towel and there was like little bits of fluff coming off, like tiny little bits. Maybe it's a new towel, I should have washed it first before using it. I'm not kidding, like tiny, not bits of material, like barely noticeable bits of fluff off this towel. And I apologize if I text messaged them he was complaining, saying, oh, there's all fluff in the bathroom, what's going on here? Because I knew straight away, I sort of thought, oh, no, it's my new towel, what have I done? And when I thought it was my towel, I apologised and said, oh, I got this 
towel, it was Egyptian cotton, it wasn't exactly cheap, I thought that would be okay. And then sarcastically, almost stupidly, I was just annoyed and I put, oh, so if there are special towels I should be using, please let me know, because I, I've never bought towels before. And I got a message back saying, oh, that's all right, Bradley, don't worry, you have to go to this shop and buy this particular towel, they're the only ones that are any good. And I'm not kidding, it was a shop I would have to get a bus to somewhere in like another town. I, cu I couldn't even reply. I, it is beyond belief. Like, this guy's actually mad. And it's so crazy that I, I think it's now I'm at a point where if I'm thinking about it while I'm away, it's obviously not something good and I've got to get the hell out of there. But no, that's why I keep reminding myself, no, it is dirt, dirt cheap, it is so convenient, and I hate it. And because I hate it, it means I'm dissatisfied and I want change. And it's forcing me into action because I'm so dissatisfied with where I am. That is it. So when I wake up, I'm annoyed. I w I'm happy inside and I'm annoyed, but I love it. I wake up and I'm, I've got to go to war. I've got to fight and work hard to get out of this prison hell dimension that I've somehow trapped myself in. And I love it. And the worse the landlord gets, the more motivated and the, the harder I get. So actually, I love my landlord. It's come full circle. I love that mad bastard. <laughs> Cheers, if you ever find my YouTube and watch this. It's good black coffee. I say it's good black coffee because I'm not a connoisseur of anything, really. It tastes like black coffee. It's hot. I like it. Okay, ramble, ramble, ramble. Oh! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> okay, so this chair doesn't, like, go back as I thought it would. Oh, flip it hell. Good morning. Um, okay, so thank you for joining my little travel vlog and putting up with my rants. I hope you're enjoying yourselves, having a good new year. Let's get a bit cleaner, Bradley, with the diet. Let's crack on though, bulk up. Let's keep getting big, eating food. Let's eat a bit cleaner though. Look after yourself, guys. Take care and be rad.